Hello, Falorites. This is Falaron, and we are back with the challenge. Now, you might wonder, where the hell am I? Well, those of you who've seen Done by Friday will know that in between sessions, I tend to grab everything I can find in the dungeons that have been finished. I, um... I farm stuff, I make tree farms, I make other kinds of farms, whatever I can I can do, and this is the case here as well. I want to show you my base, the way I set it up. Um, I have set up in the underground area where Vex actually wants us, probably wanted us to set up. This is my little sleeping area, I just put it in here, so I had a little, I had a little too much light blue wool, so that is... That has been used. And out here, as you can see, I have started working quite a bit. This used to be the the area where there was a, uh, a piston door that I took out. Now, um, before I show you too much, I want to take a quick ride on this and let you see what I've done outside. I have obviously made a um, minecart line. I connected it to this part right here. And as you will see, when I go up here, I have continued it and I've built this tunnel out of um, cobblestone and glass that I found. I built this tunnel that goes all the way over here to where dungeons 3 and 4 are. This is where we were. Dungeons 3 and 4 are down there. So that's what we did last time. Um, let's go back. Go, 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 go. All the way down. Now, you might remember, I want to go take a look outside real quick so you guys can see what I did out there. You might remember that this island was a little more plastered with uh, stone and sand. I've dug out most of that and uh, I've built my tunnel and I left that intact. So uh, all that is good. What I also did, you remember this was where the first tree was on? And as we were going up there, I told you that I knew that there were uh, skeleton spawners in there. And they were, they were actually uh, meant for Cleo, for zombie Cleo. They're especially for her, but I've decided to use them anyway. So they're still there. And what I did is I made... Dug, I, I, I mean, I let the sunlight in. I didn't film this because it was basically a very easy job. I let the sunlight in so it would burn the skeletons, disable the spawners, and then dug a hole so they would fall down. And as you can see, there's quite a big amount of things back here. And I have built this little redstone contraption. I'll show you later what that is for. Um, I've built this from the pistons that I got from the piston door. That I took out and I've built a little passage over to that side because that's where I'm gonna go today and uh, if you go in here this here leads us I mean this is where the pistons are this leads us to my um, arrow and bone farming area and how you farm so you don't have to actually hit them. You go like this. And then you wait. Because they're just going to kill each other. You'll see. Usually what I'll do... Or I did stand here for maybe 20 minutes or so. It works pretty well, actually. It's it's not... I mean, it's not ultra 
extremely um, efficient, but let, let me help just a little bit so you guys can see what the pistons are for. I, I was thinking of making a, a, a contraption that would crush them with the pistons, but that's just um, it was just too much work for me. <laughs> I was too lazy. So the thing is, if you if you drop something back there, you can't really get that. So you push here, the pistons push it forward, and you can get it. Now the sword that I'm using right now, you might ask yourself, where the hell did he get that sword? That is easily answered. Let me see where it is. It's it's below here somewhere. While I was digging this away, I, I found a place where there was a chest in the ground, and the chest contained a uh, a bow, uh, 64 arrows, the iron sword. It's one of the standard chests that Vex does. And uh, yeah, that's where I got that. Then, one more thing, you will be noticing a lot of coal down there. I have used the efficiency, unbreaking, and fortune pick to dig out some coal back here. As you can see, it was close to lava. I dug all this out, and I have got a ton of coal. I mean, I, I will never have a problem with coal. <laughs> It was amazing the amount of coal I could get out of there. So, uh, yeah. I close this up, just in case it's not lit up enough. I don't want anything to jump on the on the minecart track and kind of annoy me. Then here, you remember there was the glass wall over here? I, uh, I broke that through, and it just takes me back to the tracks back here that go over to... Uh, to the room with the automatic lighting. But we'll not go there for now. We'll take a look at the tree farm. Tree farm here. I can get wood whenever I need uh, sticks or whatever. I can just go farm some, farm, some, farm some trees here. And I built safety rails. I took out the glass because that was kind of scary to me. And I built safety rails here. As you can see the two walls and our death counter currently at one. Died once because of stupidity. Of stubbornness and stupidity, I guess. And, uh... Then over here, let me take a quick look at this. As you can see, there used to be a, a, a lever here that would retract and extend the pistons up there. But I figured I never want to retract the pistons anyway, so I went up there... I dug in and I took out all the redstone that was in there. Also over here to Molten Depths to Cathedral of the Suide. I figured this is going to be um, this is going to be oh yeah by the way there's Dungeon 11. I'm not going to go in there yet because I'm guessing I'm not really in shape for Dungeon 11 yet. This is where the glass wall was. And this here you might recognize. Remember? Last time? Those were my torches I died back there. So that was the track that was going through, straight through. That was where it was. I've decided not to go this way yet because there's Dungeon 11. So I'm guessing the other dungeons back there are high level dungeons as well. And I kind of want to wait for those, with those. Then, um... This is my mushroom farm. They can grow in here. I just stood here and farmed some mushroom. Uh, yeah, I got it. And then, I took the, uh, obviously, the enchanting table and the brewing stand that I had. I took them back here. I found a lot of bookshelves, so that was no problem to make. Of course, I'm not. Um, I'm never gonna use the the full 50 levels or very soon to be 30 levels thing, because uh, pro very likely that I'm not gonna get that high. But I did use on this sword. I put some sharpness on that with eight levels. So 
Over here is the brewing stand. We have the materials. And up here some potions. And look at this. This is all the potions I gathered just from dungeons 3 and 4. I, I didn't brew any potions myself. There is a place with some music. And mine carts. And over here we have railways because I'll be building more rails. And this I found in dungeon 3. I used some of them already. This is the crazy amount of golden stuff that I have. I left it out here because this is like, if I need to do something silly, I'll just grab some of those. Over here, and to show you the amount of coal that I do have, each and every single one of these furnaces has 64 coal in it. Over here too. And there's more up here. That's how much I got out of there. The wool overflow. Mob drops. We have accumulated over the over the whole time more than it's actually I could make some TNT from that uh, I have enough to make wool beds slime these of course I have a ton of and I could put this in then food I'm mainly dependent on mushrooms at the moment I will want to change that eventually even though mushroom soup is really good it's just the problem is you can't stack it so I kind of want to get rid of it. Yeah, shut up, cat. I hate cat. There you go. I uh, got some apples from the trees. Then over here, that's the pick that I use. See, it didn't even. It's amazing, this pick. The amount of coal, and it only used this much. And I have arrows, of course. Quite a few, actually. Then, uh, armor. Now, I'm wearing this armor that I found in that big hall that I just looked into earlier. So that is good. I have stone tools with me. I have potions with me. And my sign, knockback 2. That's the Estonian battle sign number 1. Interior stuff. The note blocks I got from that big room back there where I took out all the redstone. Paintings. I could actually put up some paintings. I might be doing that next time. Doors. Uh, cobble, gravel, stuff, sand. Let's take some sand. I'm not quite sure how much I need. I'll see in a second. Wood, the ladders, signs. <laughs> I, I had to make a special chest for the signs. The farming. Um, these are the only trees that, trees that won't grow back there, so I put them away. Lighting. I made some torches. And redstone, as you can see, I've picked up quite a bit of redstone materials. So basically, we're doing pretty well. Now I just need to uh, conquer some dungeons. Well, that's more sand than I'm going to need. Let's see what I can do with this gunpowder here. I don't have any flint and steel yet, but that's not a problem because I got levers. So that should be okay. Mop drops go in there. Let's grab some levers. Maybe five. And uh, maybe take seven TNT with me. Leave some here. I don't want to use all my materials. All right. I have already moved some uh, some materials over to. to the uh, the place where I want to go out at. by now I think it might be night yep so we're going to sleep as you can see we have prepared and now it's day now we're gonna try and go over that bridge and see if we can find some more dungeons I have to say after the last session I had forgotten how much fun playing a Vex map can be, so Vex, thanks a lot for making these. They are a lot of fun. Alright, here we are. And this here is my preparation chest. The reason I'm taking all this stuff with me is I want to set up a little base when I find a dungeon. So, uh, this island, by the way, should be safe. I've lit it up probably more than I needed to. And I'm thinking over there is something.
Good. Oblivion Spires. There's a... Just in case there are spawners. Oops, there's a skeleton. Oh, dungeon one. No, I walk right up to it. All right. I have no more space in my inventory. Oh, well. I can do without these bones and... I want to quickly check what that over there is. Probably dungeon two then. Dungeon five, don't blow it. <gasps> Must be creeper. Creeper sensitive. All right, dungeon five. So I have one. Uh, wait, where? Here. All right, let's go take a look. I need some blocks on my... On my bar. Make sure that I can get back up when I need to. Good job. Now this is kind of... We'll see. Ooh, I can hear the oogly booglies. Yep, there they are. It's obsidian, so I don't have to worry about explosions too much. Spider, you gonna come for me, or you gonna stay down there? Ah, dodge me. There we go. That has taken away some of my problems, I guess. I'm guessing there's a spider spawner down there. Oh, I should probably put up some torches here, huh? Or when I come back up, I'll have all kinds of baddies on my head. I see you, creeper. Oh, there's a lot of creepers. Obviously, creeper spawner. What? Kidding me? I really need some gravel or something. There's some gravel here, so I'll grab this. I do have a ton of gravel back at the base, but it's kind of not what I need right now. Oh my god, there's a lot of mobs down there. There's lava right there. Bad position to be coming in from. Alright, let's see. I think I just killed the last skeleton, so maybe I can just build out a bit. You know what? I want to go back up really quickly. Because this dungeon is really, really, really close to... You're not up here, are you? Honestly, to hope you're not. Because I would have to kill you. Yep, 
Yeah, I know. OCD, but... Might as well make it a good walkway. Instead of just... Something silly. Alright, I'm gonna put all this stuff back into this chest. Because I'm not gonna need it there. My base is really close, so... Here we go. Uh, the additional food. I might need those. Put that away, put that away. Put this away. Yep. Take some of these mate, with us. That kind of makes it easier for me to pick up stuff. <laughs> okay. Let's go back in there. There are several of them things. Oh, there's a creeper spawner right there. Being unpleasant. Oh, that does look like a fun box. Is the name, isn't it? this back. I really need to get over here and take that out, if it is what I think it is. And I think it is. Yeah, guys, sorry, I... I don't mean to be rude, but I don't really want to talk to you guys. Especially you. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Anyone sneaking up on me? Yep, there's a zombie. Whoa, that's a problem. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't think so. That was uh, pretty sneaky, man. She's sneaky. Where's the, where are these, uh... I am running out of cobble quickly. All down there is where he is. take care of him really really fast because in here he could be deadly all right I'm gonna take a gamble here all right sharpness worked for me Good. Now, I am pretty sure that there... There were, uh... Creepers coming out of the ceiling there. I need some of this stuff back. I wasn't... Didn't know I would have to bring all my building materials myself. Hey, boy. How about we light that up and shut him up? Goodbye. One of them down. Probably several, several hundred more to go. I 
might actually have to go back. Whoa, where? What? What the hell? Alright, I'm gonna have to build a little more here. Uh, 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 do not do that. Shut. What? He's like Sniper. Sniper Elite, man. Die. Up. Go. Go away. How, how is he seeing me? I don't get this. There's a guy. One less pain in the butt. He just shoot himself. <laughs> what is going on back there? Shut up. Whoa. How many arrows do I still have? Alright, here's where I'm gonna use the TNT the first time. Why don't I? Alright, let's see how this works. Do anything? I think I might have. Actually, I'm probably gonna take a left turn here. Head over to that creeper zombie area. Yep, I'm coming to you guys, don't worry. I'm gonna have to get more blocks. If I continue using them up like this. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Don't worry. Oh, there's a bow. Alright, I ran out of blocks. Which means now we're gonna have to do something a little crazy. Let's do this and this. How long is that sword gonna be okay okay for? It's a lot of zombies. Oh, there's a creeper in between. Oh, I got him. Let's check out what we can do here. Alright. Go away. Whew. Awesome. Just so you know, I'm not mining coal. I'm trying to get rid of this way for them like, to get up. Whoa! What the hell? Don't blow up the glass, you idiot. Actually, you know what? Blow up the glass, you idiot. Let's 
Let's go. Come on, Lava. You can do it. Ah, that's not gonna work. I might need to eat. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god, they are. Oh, that was my sword. I'm in trouble. Alright, let's do this. Yep, blow up there. That's good. I don't mind. Dang it! Oh no 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 no! <laughs> oh, I really want to pull out another sword here. Go away! Jesus! You guys are really messing me up. Alright, let's go down. Oh, I forgot to take out my sword again. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> oh, there it is. Got them all. That's good, that's good, that's good. Kill them all. Let's get that, and... Oh, retreat, retreat. Gotta retreat. Need to get safety. Make it smart this time. Whew! Alright, let's eat. I think I'm gonna do the uh, swiftness potion thing again. Come on, heal up, heal up. I've destroyed one zombie spawner. It wasn't a fun box, by the way. That was, of course, way har more harmless than a fun box would ever have been. Alright, let's do this. Let's spread some torches. In the face. Well, up there, yes. Oh, that's a problem. Why am I not taking damage? Are they not hitting me? I am on hard, right? Uh, wait. Yeah. All right. Too bad my, bad my iron sword is gone already. That would have been fun. There we go. I will shut them up. Oh, that hurt.
hey, there's a wolf. I didn't even see that. What's this? Oh my god, that's a hole. Better not drop down there. Oh! That. Uh. That armor is taking a lot of hits for me. Got you there. All right. One more spawner gone. Dungeon one doing pretty good. All right, killed him. Cool. Oh, there's more spawners over there somewhere. Must be. Or not. Maybe not. Alright, it seems like I've more or less pacified the area. I'm guessing... White wool? Where did you spawn? Tell me. Where did you spawn? Let's take one of these back. Because I really can't afford to have creepers spawn on me. I need to find that creeper spawner. I need to find it now. Come down here, zombie. I want you to die because you're you're loud. Is it in here somewhere? Do I have more torches? No, I don't. Right, so I'm guessing. Oh, I'm guessing dungeon two is down that hole. So what I'll do is I'll grab the wool, take it to safety. White wool, awesome. I'll grab the wool, take it to safety, and then I'll come back with more resources because I kind of used up everything I had so we have another another wool that's good I'm glad it's looking good so far especially we have another wool without another death that's and again it's dungeon number one I guess that was meant to be extremely difficult I hope it's daylight. Oh, yes, it is. Awesome. Which way? This way. <laughs> so I would have to find dungeon number two down there because three and four are there. Five is over there. So that should be good. Okay. Oh, wait. Close the door. Now I'm going to grab this. Actually, I'm going to grab it all. And I'm going to leave the wool, of course. <coughs> I'll leave this because then I won't be needing that or that. I might need the gravel. Alright, let's do this.